Not surprisingly, efficiency has been the dominant model for job design, so let's take a look at efficiency approaches to job design. Scientific management, pioneered by Frederick Taylor in 1911, emerged as a dominant perspective that examined how work should be structured to maximize worker efficiency. One of the primary contributions of scientific management was the standardization of the production process. This standardization included how employees performed their work, how employees' workdays were structured, and when and how often employees took breaks from their work, and how much responsibility employees were allowed on the job. One of the most famous job designs, the assembly line, was based on the principles of scientific management. The critical outcome of scientific management and efficiency-oriented approaches to job design is a detailed analysis of the specific tasks and worker actions to identify the ideal method or procedure for carrying out each task. One common method for this type of analysis is the time and motion studies, a systematic evaluation of the most basic elements of the tasks that comprise a job. Each job is broken down into its basic parts so that industrial engineers or managers can design jobs in a way that minimizes excessive movements or wasted time and that maximizes the time employees spend working on core job tasks. Job specialization is the process of breaking down jobs into their simple core elements. By focusing on the core elements of a job, a company is able to limit the variety of tasks employees perform and increase the efficiency in which they perform them. When repetition is built into a job, employees are able to master a specific task and perform it with increasing efficiency, which maximizes company productivity. Another technique in the efficiency approach is job simplification, which involves removing decision-making authority from the employee and placing it with the supervisor. By removing the discretionary components of jobs, companies are able to lower the necessary competencies required of employees. One benefit is that this opens up a wider pool of job applicants, and jobs can be staffed faster. Job simplification also reduces the amount of time that employees might spend thinking instead of doing their jobs. Employee training can be more focused and, as a result, more cost-effective. Of course, a common result of job simplification, high repetition, and job specialization is that jobs are narrow in focus, without much, if any, discretion afforded to employees. These jobs could be performed efficiently, but they often lack complexity and variety, which can lead to boredom, fatigue, and diminished job satisfaction.